Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here with another Sims 4 speed build. Today we'll be building at Windenburg in the neighborhood called Winslayer. The lot is called Rustic Residence. It's a one floor, two bedroom house in a 30 by 20 sized lot. It's not that great looking, which is why we've bulldozed it. This build is based off a tiny picture that I got from the internet. It was supposed to be for Christmas, but I got COVID. So I wasn't able to do anything. Actually, the timing for me getting COVID was really bad because I had taken days off of work, but I spent all of those days self-isolating because of COVID. Anyway, I decided I wasn't going to waste this build, but instead of having it as a Christmas build, I was just going to have it as a normal build because making a Christmas build way after Christmas is just so weird. By the way, so sorry that there's no face cam for this video. I currently have hives because of COVID and trust me, it ain't pretty. Also, I'd like to apologize for my voice. It might sound a little more monotone than usual and that's because COVID has taken some of it. I've got most of it returned, but I still need to steal some of it back from COVID. Oh, and I'm coughing like crazy. So that's why my voice might sound just a little hoarse. I think I am getting better though, slowly, but surely. Wow, I've just noticed that I've done a lot of talking about myself. It's turning into one of those those dear diary sessions. Anyway, back to the build. So the exterior of the house was actually pretty easy to make. All I had to do was replicate my inspiration image into The Sims. Some inspiration images are almost impossible to replicate in The Sims though. I was lucky enough that I was attracted to this one, which was. I mean, I didn't replicate it exactly, but that wasn't really the point. My inspiration image was simply that, something for inspiration. Right now, I think I'm just doing the finishing touches on the exterior. I think it's looking pretty good. The house has the same shape as the house in the inspiration image. I didn't really go with the same coloring as the inspiration image. I think I did try to get the same coloring while I was planning this build, but I had issues matching the different wallpapers for the exterior. So I just used two from the Sims 4 get together pack, which paired together rather nicely. And now we're working on the interior, starting off with the downstairs. I really like the idea of walking into a house and being greeted by a really really nice, warm, lit fireplace. I think that would feel really cozy. So yeah, that's why I put the fireplace directly in front of the front door. That was really important to me, which is why it was the first thing I placed in the house. I was thinking to myself before anything else, there must be a fireplace and everything else will revolve around it. And now I'm working on the living room. I always like to imagine reading in front of the fireplace, which is why I placed a bookcase right next to it. Not sure why, I placed the sofa so crooked, but I like the way it makes the place look really lived in. And because I placed the sofa crooked, the rug is also placed crooked as well as the coffee table. Here I am doing some light decoration before I move on to the other part of the living room. So the first part of the living room had the focal point of the fireplace, but this second area will have a TV. I really wanted the TV area to not be the biggest part of the living room. Usually living rooms in most homes Homes are centered around the TV. But with this home, I really wanted it to be the fireplace with the TV inconspicuously off to the side. I do some light decorating in the area. I'm not really good at clutter. The issue isn't that I don't know where to put things, but rather I can't find the things that I'm looking for. For example, I'll be looking for a certain kind of box or a specific wall hanging and I can't find any of it. It literally takes me like five minutes just to find one item. Actually, when I was recording this build, I was looking for a specific item in the kitchen. It's that one with all the pans hanging off the wall. I had so much difficulty trying to find that one item that I actually had to cut out a huge chunk of the recording. It was literally a video of me just scrolling through the catalog, which was not very entertaining. Honestly, there needs to be an easier way to find things in the catalog. Maybe if they separated them into rooms or something. I don't know. But there's got to be an easier way, right? Let me know in the comments below if you've found a way to make this easier for yourself or if you've seen someone else find a way that's easier than scrolling endlessly through the catalog. I really honestly need the help. And now we're in the bathroom. As you can see, I managed to fit a pretty big bathroom in this build. Most of my bathrooms are one by three squares. This one is a whole six tiles. This is inconceivable. But if you've never seen one of my one by three bathrooms, welcome to my channel. 
channel. Please like and subscribe. And now we've moved on to the kitchen. I normally don't like to close off the kitchen because it makes the room feel cramped, but old houses didn't really do open plan living. That's more of a recent thing. So since the area did have to be closed off, I tried to make it feel cozy. I'm not sure if I was successful, but I do like the way it looks. And look at that. We're already up to the bedroom. This is my usual nine tiled bedroom. It has a bunk bed and desk. It usually has a dresser in it, but this time I only placed a mirror, which your sim can use to change their clothes. And now that we've done all the rooms in the interior, it's time to work on landscaping. Landscaping isn't my forte. And if you didn't know this, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe. The trouble with tiny homes on big lots is that your home doesn't take up too much space, which means that you have a lot of landscaping to do. That's why I love tiny homes in tiny lots. Unfortunately, that's not what I did this time. I have a small home on a massive lot. So the rest of the video is me trying to fill up space. As you may have noticed, I threw in a barbecue and picnic table in there to fill up some of the space. Then I thought maybe I could use a chunk more by putting in a greenhouse. Surprisingly, those tricks actually worked. Then of course, we can use up a bit more space for the path from the front door and maybe a gate and fence. And after that, I was kind of out of ideas. I had this massive space between the fence and the house that needed filling. Then I put this archway next to the path and then I put a well in the middle of the lot. And these items gave me an idea. I was thinking that maybe I could put in like a cute little garden path that led from the path at the front door to the barbecue picnic area. So I filled up the entire area with as many yellow and white plants as I could. And then I put in a cute little garden bench in and then I painted the ground a bit and then voila, landscaping. After that, it was basically just finishing touches, basically painting the ground a bit, adding a few more plants around the area, little bits and pieces to kind of fill in empty looking areas. After that, I put in a few more outdoor lights before moving on to the flybys. All in all, I like the way it turned out, especially the landscaping. That turned out better than expected and better than most of my usual builds. I love how the build actually looks similar to the inspiration image. If you've ever tried to copy a real life building into The Sims, you'll understand how frustrating it can be sometimes to not be able to replicate the parts of the build that you like. But with this build, I think I was able to do that. I was able to replicate the parts I liked and was able to add things that I wanted to make the build better. For this build, I don't really have a favorite room. All the rooms are pretty good. I don't hate any of them. They're all pretty much like my usual builds. Maybe I could say that my favorite room is the outside, but that's not really a room, is it? But I do like the landscaping in this build. So maybe that's my favorite room. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to say hi in the comments. And if you liked this build, you might like the old church.